What if I told you I had an idea to make 3D printers more energy efficient and better printers overall? I'm Ashton and this is Desktop Inventions. So stick around and I'm about to tell you about my crazy idea. Let's go. All right, so a while back I did a video on adding an insulated sheet to the bottom of your 3D printing bed and that helped improve energy efficiency. Basically, it kept the heat in the bed. It didn't let the heat escape out the bottom, which would cause you to lose energy and therefore money. So the results were pretty modest, but impressive. Uh, just by adding that sheet, it saved about six to 14% of the energy. 6% um, more for uh, printing PLA with a 60 degree bed temperature and more like 14% when you're printing ABS and you have a much higher, around 100 degree bed temperature. But today I'm going to take efficiencies to a whole nother level. We're going to take those previous results and blow them out of the water. This is game changing stuff. Okay, enough of the buildup. Without further ado, my idea is to take and make heated bed zones. So here's what this means. Say you want to print a little Eevee here on your 3D printer and instead of heating up the entire bed, you would then just heat one local zone right where Eevee is sitting so the rest of the bed doesn't need to waste energy heating up. Okay, so heated bed zones, like why is this such a big deal? That's a great question and I'm glad you asked. So let's dive in the numbers of why this is such a huge deal. So I did a little testy test of about a one hour print running at normal bed temperatures. Then I did another test with the heated bed completely turned off. During these tests, I use a power meter to measure the power consumption and here's what I found. So on the print with the bed heater turned on, it used about 89 watt hours of energy over that print. Then when we turned the bed heater off, it only used 36 watt hours. That's a 60% reduction. Or in other words, the heated bed is consuming 60% of the entire energy of the printer. So then I did some calculations to see what would happen if we only heated 25% of the bed area. And that yielded 45% energy reduction, almost half. That sounds like a pretty simple and great idea, right? But as you can guess, there's some technical challenges that go along with this. So let's dive into those a little bit. So first off, your bed has four wires going to it to make it function. Two wires to control the heater and two wires for the thermistor, which basically reports back how hot the bed is getting. So if you want to create multiple heated bed zones, you'll have to have four more wires for each bed zone that you want to add. So naturally, that gets a little bit complicated. So if you start to think about two or four or eight or even 16 bed zones, things start to get really messy really fast. So if I were a 3D printer designer, I would probably look at two options. Uh, option one being two zones, zone one just 25% of the area. This would be your reduced zone that you could use uh, for smaller prints. And then if you have a larger print, you do both zones together. And then for option two, uh, similar, but this time just cut it in half so you get a little more flexibility with your zone one. So then option one, uh, obviously we have the most reduced area in zone one, 25% of the whole bed area. And I calculated that would give about 45% energy reduction when printing with PLA. And then for option two, with that 50-50, we get a little less, but still very significant energy reduction at 29%. So both of these are really, really significant energy reduction. So if you have a printing farm and you're running with a lot of prints, this is huge energy savings right here, in my opinion. And just to further prove the market data to support this idea, I did a poll on my channel that showed at least 38% of people would use this type of feature 50% of the time or more. So there you have it. That's my full idea of heated bed zones to, in some cases, double the energy efficiency of your 3D printer. So Creality or Bamboo Labs or even one of you at home, let's go make this thing happen. I'd be proud to see this idea put into action.